Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 7. Two of the icons or leaders in children's television back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s were Mr. Dress Up and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Their shows kept children enthralled by what would be deemed in our day as boring and ineffective. But yet, even today, kids watch and keep watching and are still watching these two shows. But they were shows that took kids on a journey, a journey of pretending, that place called make-believe, pretending to be a king or a queen or a policeman or a baker or a mailman. They took kids on trolley car rides to lands where they had to use their imagination, the land of make-believe. We were all kids once, and we all know that a lot of our playing was in the form of pretending, pretending to be a cowboy or a teacher or a nurse. I almost killed myself once in the land of make-believe, pretending I was a superhero. We had a road with a long hill near our house, and, and I thought I saw the bat signal and donned my cape and got on my bike and decided to see how fast I could go down that hill. Unfortunately, it was covered with small little stones, and my front wheel suddenly hit one, and I went flying. Not up, up, and away, but down, down, down to a painful re-entry back into reality. I even heard a neighbor on the lawn who watched all thing, the whole thing unfold ask, is he dead? Well, I wasn't dead. I did have a damaged bike and a ripped cape and a bruised ego. But shortly after that, I decided to hang up my cape and decided I would just pretend to be smart. Pretending. We've all done it, and sadly, it's not something we leave behind as kids. We just learn to get better at it as adults. Our verse today is about that, pretending. Verse 13, 7 reads, There is one who pretends to be rich, but has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, but has great wealth. It's an interesting verse. There's one who pretends to be rich. Well, obviously you have to pretend to be rich. In reality, you aren't rich. But we can understand this desire to pretend to be rich. Rich people are admired. They're impressive. They must be successful. They're envied. They have a certain standing in society. They're often famous. They live in nice homes and drive nice cars and wear nice clothes and are often respected. We want to impress people. We want to fit in. We want to look successful. We want to be admired. So it's easy to understand the temptation to pretend to be rich. And today, with credit cards and banks willing to loan money, it's not hard to appear to be rich. But what people can't see is it's all pretend. The bank really owns it all, but you're really the only one who knows that. Nobody else does. But reality is not everyone who drives a fancy car is, in rea is rich or wears expensive clothes or lives, live in nice homes. They're not always rich. Many of them are pretending to be something. In reality, they're not. They can't afford those things. Their game of pretend is causing them to have a nervous breakdown, anxiety. But they're addicted to the esteem, the nice stuff, the circles they travel in. They're afraid to be real, afraid to be honest. So there's one to, who pretends to be rich. But the second person is a little harder to relate to, the one who pretends to be poor. Well, obviously to pretend to be poor means you are not poor. But why would a person pretend to be poor? Nobody takes bus trips to see the lifestyle of the poor. They want to see the lifestyle of the rich and famous. Why would somebody pretend to be poor? Well, to avoid having to help people, to avoid having to be generous. They want to keep everything to themselves. There's no desire to use his riches to benefit others, no pressure to give or use his riches to benefit others. That pressure is never there if you pretend to be poor. No people are asking poor people for favors. We've all heard stories of people who died and lived in old rundown homes and find money stashed all over the house, thousands of dollars and sometimes meant much more than that. Misers are hoarding money, but for what? Well, only they can answer that question, but they're pretending to be poor, and now they're pretending to be rich. They're both frauds because they're pretending to be something that they're not. Proverbs says the rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. Pretending means we're unwilling to accept and be content with the Lord's provision in our life. Are you living in the land of make-believe? It's not a sin to be poor. Are you ashamed to drive an older car? Don't have the best of this or that? Have a home that is not equipped with all the latest gadgets? 
So you're living on credit, pretending to be rich? Why? Why are you doing that? Only you can answer that question. Are you hiding the fact that you have money? It's not a sin to be rich. Pretending to be poor so you can justify ignoring opportunities to use your money to help avoid taxes, or to help the needy, or missions, or church, or just help people in general? Why? Why do people pretend to be poor? Only they can answer that question. God knows the answer why we're pretending. We can't hide it from Him. God knows and we are called to be faithful stewards. The key is to this whole thing is why are you pretending? There's many rich people who are frugal. They live in modest homes. There's nothing wrong with that. They're just being good stewards. They chose to live that lifestyle. They're not hiding the fact that they're rich. They just choose not to spend their money on things that many rich people do. But God wants us to be real. He wants us to hold our head up and work hard and be content with what you have. There's one who pretends to be rich, but has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, but has great wealth. May we not live our lives in the land of make-believe, but may we be real. And may we use the blessings that God has given us for the glory of God and for the good of others. May God bless.